Yo, what's good, y'all? Um, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to show y'all this this lunatic of a woman named Mia Khalifa. Now, as you guys can see, what I'm reading here, Mia Khalifa says being in the army is worse than being on Oli uh, OF. Here we flip and go. Me is worse than being on OnlyFans. Wow. You're selling your body to the government. Being in the army is worse than being on OnlyFans. Wow. You're selling your body to the government. Now I have a question, and this is an honest question. Why do we keep allowing these hoes to keep saying what they feel instead of just shutting up and doing what they're supposed to do on camera? We don't pay you or we don't watch you to listen to what you got to say. We watch you to see, we watch you to see what you're gonna do on somebody's salami. What gives you the mind to think that you have any credibility to come in and say that selling your body to the government, which is bad in and of itself, is worse than plastering your body all over OF and then at the end of the day you still get treated like a piece of meat you get paid to screw you get paid to screw we don't ask you for your Thoughts on world issues. We don't ask you on your thoughts or anything. We pay you to screw. Why are you opening your mouth? If somebody's if somebody's dick ain't in your mouth, shut up. I'm sorry to say it like that, but it's the truth. We always want to sit on here and listen to what these chicks got to say after they've had a career in porn. Now they want to sit here and give their thoughts like they're credible. Ma'am, you had to stoop down to the lowest of the low of jobs to make money because you were too lazy to go get a real job. You are plastered all over the hub's page. So what are you talking about? Nobody looks up Mia Khalifa for her intellectual conversations. Literally, you look up Mia Khalifa on the hub, you're going to either see a black dude or a white dude, well, mainly a black dude, smacking her down and her taking it. You have no credibility, ma'am. I'm sorry to say it like that. You have no credibility. Why are you talking? Stop talking. You have no credibility, ma'am. I'm sorry. And women like that f always feel like they can say whatever the French toast they want to say, and then that makes their that makes them credible. I'm sorry, you're not. You are a laughing stock if you're if you say something because nobody takes you serious. Everybody knows it. I'm not lying through my teeth right now. I'm not I'm not lying at all. Everybody knows it. Same thing with Lana Rhodes. Everybody knows that she's Oh. Everybody know that she's just she's just a she's just a a cream gobbler. I want to say the other word, a cream dumpster. That's all she is. That's what she stooped herself down to being. That's what she's.
cause for herself. You have no credibility. I'm sorry to say it. You don't. You're a cream gobbler. You have no credibility. Stop coming onto the internet trying to give your intellectual com- uh, your intellectual lessons like you have credibility. You have none. It's women like this that make that that gives hoes the damn uh, 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 audacity to say whatever they want to say and think it's credible. A hoe should be a hoe. A hoe should stay in their place. No credibility, no nothing. Sorry to say it like that. It's it's the truth. No man respects a woman that does that, and then she tries to give her tries to give her thoughts about anything. That's the reason why a lot of people clap back on her when she started talking about when she started talking about the Israel and Palestinian war. Why do you think she got fired from uh, Playboy? You're not getting paid to talk. You're getting paid to suck on something. And it's time that we start telling these broads that. Not all women, but those women. You are not, you have no credibility. Stop trying to open your mouth and try to give your intellect out. You're not worth, you're, you're not a contributing member to society. You're not even a, a respectable human in society. Stick to your role and stay there. Don't say nothing. Got something to say? Shut up for I stuck for I stuff and digging. You know what I'm about to say. Enough is enough. It's time to stop letting these these chicks like that speak because they have no credibility. Their credibility is at best. Yeah. It's enough. Enough is enough. You don't want to get roasted online. Shut up. Keep your presence silent. Nobody wants to hear from Mia Khalifa, the prawn star. Nobody wants to listen to Lana Rose crying about what the effects of the effects of the industry after she's been doing it for a, for a long time, getting paid millions of dollars to get screwed online. Nobody cares. Nobody feels sorry for you. You took the path. And now you're gonna have to live with those consequences. Your father and your your father and your family disowned you because they don't want to be seen in public with a woman that literally get paid to screw different men online. If I had a daughter that did that, I would say, "Damn, I failed as a father." If my if my if my daughters had an OnlyFans, I would say, "Damn, I failed as a father because my daughter shouldn't be doing this to make money." I will feel like a total piece of shit. If I was a father and I had a and I had a daughter that did prawn, I would feel like a failure as a father and that would haunt the fuck out of me. So to you Sims out there that's about to come in my comment section and try to defend this shit, shut up because I'm not gonna listen to you. Your credibility is minute. Is void, null and void. Not here, brother. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast. Is probably to come. I'll see you guys on the flip side. I'll see you guys later. Mm-hmm. Bye, guys.